Hello? Today I'm going to show you guys something that I've found and it's really, really cool. And I've been really surprised with it and I love it. It is called Better Touch Tool. I think I've already made something like this. A little, um, I, I put a little link on it on my page. But this is an actual video on me showing what it could actually do. It is for Snow Leopard only, but it is so, so good if you have Snow Leopard. And you need the full trackpad. I'm sure there's a couple things that you could do with the other one, but not as much. So basically, um, you go ahead and go to it, and you can go to Preferences. And you can, go to, you can use your own program, so you can do Finder, Pages, Microsoft Word, Safari, Prism Preferences, Firefox, uh, iTunes, Global, whatever. Global is for everything, so no matter what you're on, it's always going to do that. I have a bunch of stuff set up, so you can set it up from, let me go to Add Gesture. I don't know what this is, I still haven't figured out what that is, but you can do pinch in, pinch out, uh, left rotate, right rotate, scroll up plus the modifier, scroll down plus the modifier, and you can just go ahead and read through the rest. There's a really a lot, a lot, a lot, you can go pause the video if you want to see them, but, um, so I set it up, and you can put any custom keyboard shortcut for everything, so you can also do the predefined action action which is like spaces and stuff like that um, so I already have everything um, set up I'm gonna show you guys what I can do I'll start off with the ones that it's listed okay so five fingers wipe down that's the bottom space it's already on bottom space as you can see so it's not gonna let me go down if I go up five fingers up five fingers right like that It's really accurate and it works. Um, another thing you can do is now the five finger tap show dashboard. That works just as well. Let me use show live view. This actually shows what I'm doing on the trackpad. So if I go like this, it's five fingers. Four fingers, three, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this so you know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I don't need this one. Uh, four finger swipe down, normal exposure. Four finger swipe left, application exposure. Four finger swipe right, show spaces. Up is show desk, show the um, desktop. Now over here, single finger bottom tap left. I changed it to only double tap so that I don't actually push it. So double tap left, put the volume lower. You can also change that to normal, so if I take that off, double tap, what it would be like is this. You can also mute and unmute, pushing the bottom, middle. Over here, you can do brightness down, by the side, middle, brightness up. You can also open up iTunes by pushing play on the top. Play, pause, neck, uh, back, and forward. So I go ahead and go to my iTunes. I can push play. Goes to the first song. Push right. Play right. Go to this one. Pause it. Now another thing you can do. Um, that, that's just the buttons that you can push. You can also go to application switcher by putting three fingers and clicking, and you can just move around. Um, and just click on whatever one you want. So I'll go ahead and click on Finder. Uh, next thing you can do, three finger swipe down. I do this mainly for um, for like um, Safari and stuff. So if I'm on Safari and I want to just type in Google, I just three finger swipe down. It does tab for me and it goes straight to Google. If I want to type in something, and instead of pushing tab all the time, I can just three finger swipe down, three finger swipe down, and it says tab. Uh, three finger swipe up is shift and tab, which is the, um, it goes upward instead of downward. Uh, three finger swipe up, three finger. Three finger tap is CMD click, so if I click on iChat, three fingers, it'll open up a folder where iChat is. Or if I go to Safari, oops, not iCal. If I go to Safari and I go to YouTube, and I do three fingers for a video. For example, this one. Three fingers. I'll open it up in this another tab. So 
Um, over here. Three finger, tip tap left. It's a little confusing, but this is how it works. Put three fingers down, and then one finger is going to touch. Now we'll quit an application. For example, iTunes. Three fingers hit, and it quits the whole application. For a new full, for a new window, for example, with Finder, three fingers this way, and do tap right. That makes a new window. To close a window, you do two fingers and tap. To minimize a window, two fingers and then right tap. That minimizes it. So I can go ahead and do the application exposure. Go back to these. And I can close all the windows. That easy. Next. Do you already have that? Do you already have that done? I can go ahead and delete that. So that's basically everything I have just for normal. Whoa, I don't know what I just did. Remember, you have to be precise in what you're doing. So if you have too many things set up, you may actually do something that you don't want to. So that's the spaces. Okay. Now for the iTunes and stuff, I have I don't have anything set up for iTunes, so I can go ahead and take that off. System preferences, uh, Firefox, rotate left for new tab. So over here I can just do rotate, and it makes a new tab for me. Depending on how many times I do it, it can make like another tab. I can go and close those tabs like this. So if I just go like that, it makes a new tab. Click on Babel Gateway, go to my other tab. Other tabs like this, one finger, tip tap left with only one finger. Or I can go right. So I can go ahead and go to Mac Update, make a new tab. Go ahead and go to uh, Apple. I can go ahead and just go to any tab I want. And in, inside these tabs, you can two fingers click, and that tab is gone. And if I quit the application, Let's go like this. And it's quit. Um, that's it for that. System preferences. Okay, this was what really bugged me before. This is normally in system preferences. Normally, you would have to, um, if you go to doc, for example, you have to click back. So I decided, hey, why can't I just three fingers? So three fingers right and forward, I can just do back and forth now. You couldn't do that before, which is really buggy. You can do it with this. Safari, I already showed you. Uh, Microsoft Word. Um, by the way, um, I forgot to mention this. It will probably have a little thing in the beginning that said it. But you can also use a magic mouse. <laughs> and there's a lot of gestures you can use for this too. So there is single finger tap left, it's basically everything. Single finger swipe up, swipe down, left, right, two finger tap, two finger click, three fingers, four fingers. So you can do four finger clicks and taps. So that's basically about it. Um, so next time you um, see your computer and you're like, I want to do something faster, you can go and just play songs by double tapping the top of your trackpad. Go next song, play it. And there you go. That's how you do it. And turn louder. Am I hitting exactly? Hit it exactly. Double tap. You can always make sure you hit it right in the right spot. Just like that. And turn off this so I can use the pole. So that's basically how to do it. You can also um, change your repeat time. So for zooming. Um, or anything like that. Change the sensitivities, the tap sensitivities, general tracking speed. Change is that if you like your thumb on it always, you can change it for that. So that's how you do it. That's better touch for you guys. I hope you like this tutorial and review. Um, so thanks for watching. Goodbye.